Welcome! Today we're going to learn how to compare fractions by cross multiplying. Before we begin, let's review some important vocabulary. A fraction is a number that names a part of a whole or a part of a group. Multiply means to add up equal groups of the same number. The numbers you multiply are called the factors, and the answer is called the product. Compare means to describe whether numbers are greater than, less than, or equal to one another. Let's start practicing with this story problem. Peyton and Chloe bought some ribbon from the craft store. Peyton bought three-fourths of a yard and Chloe bought one half of a yard. Who bought more ribbon? We are going to solve this problem by cross multiplying. First, write the two fractions side by side. Then, circle the denominator and numerator across both fractions. Now the numbers that share a circle will be the factors that are going to be multiplied. So four times one equals four, and I am going to write the product four up here. And three times two equals six, so I will write a six up here. Now that I've cross multiplied, I can clearly see that six is greater than four. So three fourths is greater than one half. The alligator mouth will face towards the six. We can read this comparison sentence as three fourths is greater than one half. After cross multiplying, we can see that Peyton bought more ribbon than Chloe. Now pause and try this one on your own. Remember to rewrite the fraction, then circle across the numerators and denominators, then write the products above the fractions, and make the statement true by using the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. Hopefully your comparison looked something like this. You circled the eight and the one, then circled the four and the three. Eight times one equals eight, and four times three equals 12. 12 is greater than eight, so four eighths is greater than one third. In this video, we learned how to compare fractions by cross multiplying. Thanks for watching.